Good morning students, welcome back to the chemistry lesson science unit 8 periodic classification of elements. I hope that you remember our previous class. Now let us recall modern periodic law, periodic properties, metallurgy, metallurgy process you have three steps and uh, important terms used in metallurgy then types of ore, di different methods of separation of ore and the properties that is physical and chemical properties of metals, the extraction of uh, aluminum, their properties and their uses. Now, you talk about the second metal, the second metal is copper, copper has the symbol Cu, it has the atomic number 29. And you have to write the electronic configuration 2, 8, 18, 1. And copper has a valency, two valencies, 1 and 2. Now, the extraction of copper. It was named as cuprum by the Romans because it got it from the island of uh, Cyprus. This copper is formed in native state and also it is present in a combined state. Then, the minerals of copper or ores of copper. The first one, copper pyrites, CuFeS2, cuprite or ruby copper, Cu2S, copper glands, Cu2S. These three are the important minerals of copper. Now, we have to extract copper from copper pyrites. What is the formula of copper pyrite? CuFeS2, CuFeS2, this is the chief ore of copper, is copper pyrite. Now, you have to extract copper, you have the five steps. The first step, concentration of the ore, which is the ore, copper pyrite, CuFeS2. The ore is crushed, crushed means powdered and concentrated by froth flotation process. So, it is a sulphide ore, the sulphide ore is concentrated by froth flotation process. The second, second step, roasting, roasting means it is roasted in the presence of air. The concentrated ore is roasted in the presence of air. air. What happens means during roasting in the presence of oxygen, the impurities are oxidized, the uh, moisture are removed. Impurities, what are the impurities here means sulfur, yes, phosphorus, P, arsenic, A, yes, antimony, yes, B. These, uh, these are oxidized into oxides and these impurities are removed. Here, this copper pyrite that reacts with uh, oxygen to form sulphides of copper and sulphides of iron plus sulphur dioxide gas. Now, you have to balance this equation. You have two copper means in this side also you have to put two. Now, you have to check this uh, equation, it is balanced or not. Now, come to the third step, step smelting. The roasted ore is mixed with the powdered coke. Coke has the formula C and sand, SiO2 and it is heated in a blast furnace to obtain mat. Mat means Cu2S and FeS and also it contains slag. The slag means it is a waste. So, first you remove the waste. So, uh, in this process, this ore is mixed with coke and sand, you can get the mat. What is the formula of mat means? Cu2S and FeS. Now, the fourth one that is bezimerization. It is a very important process step that is the molten mat is transferred into a bezimer converter in order to obtain blister copper. The blister copper contains 98 percentage copper and 2 percentage impurities. What happens in the impurity 2 percentage of impurities can be removed by electrolytic refining. And before that, this ferrous sulphide from mat is oxidized to ferrous oxide. FES is converted into FeO and which is removed as a slag using silica. The first one ferrous sulphide FES plus 3O2 gives FeO ferrous oxide plus sulphur dioxide gas. This ferrous oxide it reacts with the silica or sand. Sand has the formula SiO2 
to form iron silicate FeSiO3. This is a slag. So, first you remove the slag. Now, this copper sulphide, it reacts with oxygen to form copper 2 oxide plus sulphur dioxide. This copper 2 oxide, it reacts with copper 2 uh, copper sulphide. He, this copper sulphide from the only first the par, partly it remove it is reacts with the uh, uh, oxygen everything. Now, the remaining part it reacts with copper pyrite, the remaining copper sulphide it reacts with copper oxide to form a blister copper. This blister copper contains 98 percentage copper and 2 percentage impurities plus SO2. Now, you have to last equation you have to balance it. Here 4, here 2 copper, so here 2 copper, then but oxygen is that, that side is 2. So, you have to put here 2, so totally 4 copper here and this is 2 copper, so here I put 2 copper. Now, you have 98 percentage of copper and 2 percentage of impurities. Now, the last step that is electrolytic refining. So, the blister copper contains 98 percentage copper and the 2 percentage impurities. Now, it is purified by electrolytic refining. Now, the very high uh, degree of purity can be done by this method. Now, cathode, cathode means negative electrode. It is the electrolysis process, a thin plate of pure copper metal is taken as the cathode. Cathode means negative electrode and the anode, a block of impure copper metal. Here it is a positive electrode and here which is the electrolyte. The copper sulphate solution is acidified with sulfuric acid CuSO4 plus H2SO4. Now, the reaction takes place when we, now we pass the electric current through the electrolytic solution. This pure copper gets deposited at the cathode and the impurities are settled at the bottom of the anode in the form of sludge. Sludge means it is a thick soft mud and it is called as anode mud. Now, you get the 100 percentage of copper and these are the 5 steps of the purification uh, extraction of copper. The first one concentration, the second one roasting, the third one smelting and the fourth one bezimerization and the fifth one electrolytic refining in this way how to extract the copper. Now, properties, physical properties of copper. What is the color of copper? It is a reddish brown metal. It has high luster, high density and also high melting point that is 1356 degree Celsius. These are about the proper physical properties of copper. Now, come to the chemical properties of copper. So, very important properties. The first one, action of air and moisture. Air means O2, moisture means H2O. And here, this uh, copper re reacts with or oh, air, air means O2 and here moisture means H2O. In the presence of carbon dioxide, you get the uh, product CuCO3 dot CuOH twice. It is called as malachite, but in your book it is written as copper carbonate. It is a one mineral of copper, the name is malachite, but it is a uh, another name also copper carbonate, a green layer of copper carbonate formed that is CuCO3 dot CuOH twice. The next one action of heat. On heating at a different temperatures of copper, it forms two types of oxide. The first one copper, it reacts with heated with oxygen at below 1370 Kelvin, it forms copper 2 oxide. Copper 2 oxide means it has the valency copper uh, 2. I already told that uh, here you have 2 valencies. Copper has 2 valency 1 and 2 and here it forms copper 2 oxide. This copper 2 oxide is black in color. The next one, copper it reacts with oxygen above 1370 Kelvin it forms copper 1 oxide Cu2O. Cu2O here it has the valency 1. So, copper 1 oxide and this copper 1 oxide is red in color. The third one, action of acids. This copper, it does not react with dilute uh, hydrochloric acid and dilute sulfuric acid in the absence of air, but in the presence of air only the reaction takes place. 
copper reacts with hydro dilute hydrochloric acid in the presence of oxygen to form copper chloride pl plus water. Now balance it here to uh, here 2 chlorine here but here 2 means 2 oxygen. So, total you have 4 hydrogen. So, you have to put 4 HCl and 2 copper then you have to put 2 copper. The next one copper it reacts with dilute nitric acid. Nitric acid means HNO3. Copper it reacts with dilute nitric acid it forms copper carbonate CuNO3 twice plus nitric oxide plus water. Now, how to balance means first you know uh, it is somewhat difficult to balance. So, you have to remember one number you note that 8 nitric acid in 8 nitric acid means you have to balance here this is 3 copper 3 twos are 6. So, in your book it is uh, wrongly uh, balanced. So, you have to balance it correctly ok 3 Cu plus 8 HNO3 here also you have to put 3 Cu NO3 twice plus 2 NO plus 2 H2O. Then this copper it reacts with hot concentrated sulfuric acid it forms copper sulphate, sulphur dioxide and water. Now, balance it here in this product side 2 sulphur. So, here I put 2 sulfuric acid. So, 2 2 are 4 hydrogen and that is on that side also 2 or 4 hydrogen. Then the fourth one it reacts with chlorine action of chlorine. Copper reacts with chlorine to form in the copper 2 chloride. Copper 2 chloride means CuCl2 copper reacts with chlorine to form copper 2 chloride. The last reaction alkali. What is the formula of alkali? NaOH plus H2O. It does not copper. It does not react with alkali. So, these are the 5 chemical properties of copper. The first one action of air and moisture. The second one action of air. The third one it action with acids. The fourth one action of chlorine. The fifth one action of alkalis no reaction with alkalis. Now, come to the uses of copper. Now, you already know that it is used in utensils and many things uh, coins, gold, okay, making gold everything. And the first one it is used in making electric cable wires and also electrical appliances. The next one it is used in utensils, utensils, okay, vessels, containers, calorimeters and also coins. It is used to make coins. The third one it is used in electroplating. What does electroplating means? It is a process of coating one metal over the other metal by passing electric current. The best example spoon, okay, it is coated with another metal iron. The uh, another metal the silver is coated by passing electricity. So, this is used in electroplating this process is electroplating. The next one important one it is alloyed with gold and silver. Gold has the symbol AU silver AG for making coins and jewels you can get the different uh, sizes of uh, jewels ok. So, it is used to alloyed with gold. Okay, copper, uh, copper means Cu, gold means AU, uh, AU and also silver means AG uh, for making coins and jewels. So, these are the uses of copper. Okay, these are the extraction properties and uses of copper. Okay, students now do the assignment also. The first one ex explain the extraction of copper. The second one write the chemical properties of copper. The third one what are the uses of copper very very important extraction chemical properties oh, you have to ok learn and write these three questions uh, write one time ok. So, these are the very important three questions learn and write one time ok that is all thank you students.